guys, it's Gracie. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, for today's video, we're doing a little hang out with me. What's up on a what is it? Tuesday? Tuesday night type of video thing. Um, uh, yeah. So I actually have a good bit of homework to do tonight. Um, like actually, like a good bit of homework to do. Um, to try and get caught up for a week. I feel like I'm a little behind right now, even though I'm not really behind. I just feel like I'm behind. We're gonna actually go skirt skirt this way. Um, but anywho, so right now I'm going to get my nails done, I think, with my mom and then one of her friends and then the friend's kid and daughter in law. So, yeah, I'm going to do that now. Um, and then I need to go home and start homework. I have to put away all my laundry because I wash it all and dry it all now. It's all just laying on my bed. Um, so I have to put all that away. And then, um, what else I need to do? Yes, I need to do, okay, so I have an essay due on Friday. And as of now, I have nothing done. It involves research. I have started to research. Um, and personally, I feel like this essay essay is gonna be the hardest. Everything Gracie here. Uh, in fact, it was. I spent six hours on it and still made a 70. But anywho, I'm gonna talk to you guys once I get to the nail salon so that I can focus and dry. So, um, got my nails done. Not the greatest experience, but it's fine. Um, in Chick fil I'm not going to Chick fil A. At Chick fil A. Getting a salad because I'm hungry and yeah i want food and i'm gonna get a salad so that's what i'm doing uh i think someone i know is working here so it's pretty awkward but it's fine that's fine right the bag she's looking very good in that little seat um but uh wow that was bright um about to go home eat the salad so i decided to do a voiceover to explain what i'm saying in this whole video clip but basically i was saying that recently in life i've been learning you know not to burn bridges to not leave a relationship toxic you know you want to leave everything on good common ground because eventually one day that person that you were mad at in 10th grade could be a boss or you might need them you know to be a witness of something so just never leave a relationship toxic or bad uh, i got home i ate my salad and now i'm about to do all my laundry as you can tell i have a good bit of it um all scattered here it's organized but it's not put up so that's what i'm about to do and then i'm gonna Sorry, I'm going to put it up, but I want to show you guys kind of how I fold my clothes really quickly. Okay, so this is my pajama drawer. All my pajama shirts are here. All my sports bras are here. This is a sweatpant drawer and kind of like colder stuff. So, beanies, big socks, gloves, just more big socks. And then all my sweatpants are on these sides. And there's a couple pair of pajama pants in there as well. And pajama shorts. Then this is my legging drawer slash a little bit more sweatpants so all these are like black or black and gray or black and white leggings this is more like the fun ones so like different prints and then different kind of fabrics those are tiktok leggings um and then these are just some different colored ones same for here and then these two are a pair of tie-dye sweatpants that i just have in there and i'm not even sure what's in here uh, this is um old stuff for like halloween there's a jersey some scrubs I had to dress up um, and then there's like some cuter clothes, stuff my mom didn't wear that she thought I might like, but I didn't really like it. So I just had it there. Voila. And then we won't even go through to show all this because it's a hot mess. I'm just going to set the ambiance to get homework done because like I said, I have a lot of homework to do that I need to get done. So that is what I'm going to do. So the ambiance gets started. I'm gonna go ahead and close my blog for the night because it makes noise downstairs because it's right between my parents' bedrooms so they can both hear it. And sometimes I do it like right before I go to bed and it's like 12 o'clock and I'm like trying to, you know, 
be, be quiet, but anyway, shut that for the night and then. question between some basically all I'm done. Um but we have to do graphing and you have to like count the area like the blocks. Yeah. So it's kinda like difficult on a computer. But I have to like sometimes like some of my classmates will draw on the computer to help them understand it. But I'm just like that messes my computer all up. So I like go and I annotate it with Cami if you know what that is, you really know math or whatever subject that you use Cami for but you really do it if you really use Cami but I have to use Cami because sometimes I, I like I can't draw it like right now I have to do four numbers four different calculations all with different parts of a graph so it's quite interesting to say the least but I'll take over so I can see the color okay but yeah I just wanted to share that because you know, first world problems, but I will say it's quite difficult at times. <laughs> Bathtub now, a little bit later. My mom came home, so I was like talking to her and all that. Anywho, um, still working on homework. I'm trying to like figure out where I went wrong because I don't think I did it right. Because let me show you, okay? I'm a little bit confused, a little bit confused, okay? This is a graph, right? And like I mentioned earlier, we're trying to find like different areas in this to like one times 200, 400, you know, like that. But the thing is, I don't know for this, like, would you calculate, like, I don't know. Anyhow, it's just a lot of different hard math. And, yeah, it's only literally three questions, but it's took me about two hours to do it. And I'm not even done. So, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is try and rework it one more time. Because I don't know if you can tell, but I reworked it, like, two times in the time lapse. But I'm going to rework it one more time and try and compare... Um, some notes from like other problems and then I think I'm gonna be done with it for tonight and then I'm gonna look at my essay assignment and I'm gonna try and plan it all out and then tomorrow night I'm gonna do some research and start writing it and hopefully fingers crossed I can get it to him so that he can look over it for Thursday be able to have it back by Thursday evening and then be able to revise and edit it and turn it in Friday night that's my plan fingers crossed we can get all that done um but yeah, I have three nights, four nights, um, basically three nights to work on this essay. And yeah, I just, I regret putting it off so late. But then again, like I'm trying to make myself not regret it and just kind of be like, okay, we have three nights. Let's get it done. Three days, whatever. So, anywho, I'm going to keep working on this. And I'll see you guys later. Catch you guys later, whatever. It's really stressing, but it's fine. Um. I honestly have no idea how to do this essay that is due in a little bit of time. Um, basically, it's what they call a literary, literary analysis. And I don't really know how to do it. Um, so I looked up how to write a literary, literary analysis. And there's like seven steps apparently to it. Um, but the thing is, is that... The questions it wants you to start asking yourself 
to start, you know, coming up with how to do this. What struck you? What confused you? Did you notice any patterns? Did you hear any contradictions or ironies? And I really can't think of any. The next re clips I recorded, I basically just stressed out about having this essay due that I did not know how to do. And then I decided to get up and change my earrings. And it, you can go watch that video, like up here, I'll link it, about me getting my ears pierced. And it's just hitting on a month, which is like when you're supposed to take them out. So I decided that I had some hoops and I wanted to put those in. Why did this at like one o'clock at night? Who really knows? But yeah, that is what the next part of the video is about. I mean, taking these earrings out and putting on hoops and seeing how I like it and adjusting. Okay, first of all, I'm back. Second of all, trying these earrings out, maybe see how ridiculous I look. Also, I freaking put, this is pretty sharp. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty sharp. Like, and it made a freaking new hole in the back. My ear is bleeding right now. So, freaking fantastic. Love that for me. Um, but I'm going to try and put this other earring in and see how it looks on me. Because, yeah. But yeah, my ear is freaking bleeding. We love that for her. Like, maybe. Okay. So, both the hoops are in. I don't think I... I feel like I look stupid in hoops. Like, I'm sorry. I just... I can't see myself in hoops. Like, I look retarded. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I just personally, like... What? Like, okay. Maybe it's just because it's me only. I don't think hoops are it for me. Back again. Psych. I actually really love hoops. I wear them all the time. I don't have them on today, but I wear them like every other day then when I don't have studs in. But yeah, I'll show you some pictures of like what I look like in hoops because I think I've adjusted to them and like like them on me. I don't know. <music>